What's going on guys? Coming to y'all with some more gameplay footage. Uh, before we go ahead and get started, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, I'll be playing Red Green Werewolves uh, with Immerwolf as my commander as there's currently no suitable Red Green Legendary. I will get Arata just so no one can complain about me having an illegal commander. Um, or sorry, tiny leader. Uh, my friend Logan here is playing um, Eight and a Half Tails. Eight and a Half Tails. Well, Mono White control it's not complete yet and he, he's still waiting on the actual card to come in the mail so for now this will serve as eight and a half tails um but he does actually have the real card coming in uh the deck is mostly complete this is not a true tiny leaders deck it's just kind of uh my werewolf commander deck that i cut in half <laughs> and uh is serving as the tiny leader deck for now until i get one officially built so let's go ahead and do our die roll real quick oh i just rolled off the table like a complete amateur uh four Which does not beat an eight. All right. So Tiny Leaders is a format that I might try experimenting a little bit more with. I'm a big time commander guy, and I'm not really a big fan of dual commander because I just feel like the hunter card deck does not translate very well over to a super competitive game. Uh, even though I do play 1v1 commander all the time, the lack of soul ring and other cards it just doesn't interest me uh, as much. However, Tiny Leaders kind of feels more like uh, akin to Legacy. In a lot of ways, uh, so I don't mind it. It's actually a fairly interesting format, and I want to try doing more with it. So if you guys enjoy, let me know, and we can get some uh, more Tiny Leaders decks built and do some gameplay footage with them. Okay. This hand is meh. But I think if I mulligan it, I might just end up worse off, so I'm going to try it. Um, quickly show it to the camera. I hope my opponent doesn't look. Okay. And just so you guys know, this is the reason I'm not keeping this hand. So I will go for a quick shuffle and go down to six. Okay. I'm officially out of coffee from this cup. There's one over here. It's over there. Okay. So I'm all on to six. Go on to six. Go on to six. And that is no land hand. Down to five, eh? Eh. It happens. Alright, guys. This is looking good for us. I am not sad to see it happen. Normally we skip the mulligans and uh, you know everything else because we don't feel like people really want to watch us uh, spend all the time shuffling. But I know Tiny Leaders is a little bit more competitive than Standard Commander, um, so we want to show off that we're not cheating. Yeah, let's go for it. Aside from the fact that I'm keeping it non-legendary, you do get to scribe one. There is the Vancouver Mall, so okay to the bottom. Okay, and let's start. Hmm. Let's go. Carry tower. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna play forest and pass. Still no turn one soul ring. Yep, no turn one soul rings in this format. I'll travel planes, and that's yours. I'm gonna play a fire lip thicket into a dusk watch recruiter. Uh, that'll be it. Alright. How's your hand real quick? Uh, two colors and a white. Get a red wing mirror out there. That's a thing. Uh, yours. Hmm. I do have sort of an answer for it. Oh, if it gets to stick. Wow. Well, first, let's go to combat. Swing two. I will take two. Down to 23. Second main phase. I'm going to cast. I'm going to cast. Daybreak Ranger. And pass the turn. Alright. Dark Plains. For Kithian, Hero of Akros. Sure. You got it. And we will send two in the air. I will take two and go to 23. And that is turn. Put it back now. Okay. I'm going to. Tap the ranger to deal two damage to the wing. Oh, ring manor. All right. Uh, then I'm going to pay one and cast a village messenger. 
And then I'm going to cast my commander, the Immerwolf, the totally legal as commander in the format commander, and swing in four or five. Hmm. It's not legal. Not in <laughs> any way. Incredibly legal. Mostly with card in the format. Hopefully the glare isn't hitting my cards too bad. My last game the glare was hitting my stuff really bad. I'll try moving it out of the direct light a little bit more. I will pay three, activate Kithy, and give himself indestructible. Okay. And I will block the village messenger. Okay. okay. And that will be it for my turn. I take four. Yep. Let's be to nineteen. I go. Nope. It was three. He wasn't swinging. Oh, okay. Swinging. So I'm at 20 then. Yeah, you're at 20. All right. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah, they got the glare out of a little bit more. It's always natural light that hates my, uh, hates my cards. This is a situation. This is a situation. Mm -hmm. It's yours. Okay. Uh, there's no spells cast that turn, correct? Correct. Oops. Okay, these are transformed. Okay, draw. It's not bad. I'll play Grove of the Burn Willows. It is an okay land. Uh, I'm not really keen on giving you the life right now, but the color is, is suitable enough. Um. Hmm. So my creatures cost one less. Um, so I'm going to try for this. I'm going to play Signal the Clans. Search my library for three creatures and reveal them. If I reveal three cards with different names, I choose one at random and put that card in my hand. The rest shuffle into my library. So I'm going to look for Mayor of Haverbrook. Pyreheart Wolf. And adaptive automaton. Let's put this down. Okay. So we've got a D six ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sound good? Sounds good. One. So I'm gonna get the adaptive automaton and shuffle the others into my library. Not a bad play. Cut that? Of course. Okay, and... There you go. Thank you very much. For two, because it costs one less, I will play the automaton and name a werewolf. To give my werewolves plus one, plus one. Not terrible. Um, I will swing in for six and five. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. I will, of course, tap three, give Kith Indestructible, and I will block the Predator. Okay. You will take five. Drops me to 15. And I will then pass the turn. Not really much I can do to stop that glare. All right, now you guys can see what it is with my hand cup and just the amount of light. See how this goes for me. Play Cathedral Sanctifier, gain okay. myself three life. Yep, yep. Puts me at 18. Okay. I will then. Could be a terrible play. Well, let's try it, guys. Pay three to Oblation, my Cathedral Sanctifier, back into my own library. To draw two cards? Draw two cards. Alright, so shovel it up. Not the worst play I've ever seen done. Not bad. I've actually had several situations where I've Chaos Warped my own land, hoping to reveal something big. My best reveal of a Chaos Warp uh, was uh, New Lamog. I think so. Which was not bad, because I shuffled away a waste and got a New Lamog, which was not a bad trade. Oblation, it's uh, one of my favorite pieces of removal. Worst case scenario, it's white card draw. God knows you could use it. Mm -hmm. And that looks like turn. Okay. 
Okay. Well, you don't have enough to give Kithy an indestructible weekend. I do not. Draw. I gamble on some card draw. It was, it was worth I'm going to play Gaius Cradle. And I'm going to. Hmm. Tap it to produce four green. Spe play Gaia's Anthem. I could just gain one one and use two and the one floating to play Beastmaster Ascension. I will tap this to make it in Kithian fight. Playing the red. And then I will go to combat, swinging three creatures at you. So that's three counters. And the Ascension. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three here. So a total of ten, if my math checks out. Yep, draws me to eight. And I will pass the turn. Sorry, they also have plus one, plus one on the Anthem. So that's additional three. Draws me to five. So my math was not correct. That's a Nykthos. Yeah, certainly is. Mm. Let's go for Creature Sanctifier again. Okay. Putting in some work there. It's not bad. Plus me to eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's yours. Combat. Declare four swingers. Trigger. That will go to seven. These my ascensions online. It is online. All right. In response, I will pay two white, one, two, three. Rally the ancestors where X is three <laughs> to return Kithian. And if we're going to be the field. Okay. I will respond mm -mm. by flashing a Howl Pack Resurgence. Mm -hmm. My werewolves and wolves get plus one, plus one, and trample. So that's plus one, two, three, four, and then five. So plus nine to these creatures. And plus eight to uh, this creature. And they all have trample. Just for fun, let's assign some blockers. Okay. Um, Kithian will block your automaton. Okay. Ren, Ren Wingmare will block your Predator, and the Sanctifier will block the Howler. Okay. And you will die. I will die. Okay. Good game, game one. Go to game two. Okay, we're back for game two. Uh, let's go ahead and shuffle up and see what happens. Um, since he want, uh, he lost the last game, uh, he will choose who goes first this game. I think I'll take the lead. And by the way, if you get, since you guys can't see, we do have some spectators watching. So, um, bring these in. So, Nickelbolt is suspected in my game. Songbird's watching mine. That's okay. Songbird's better anyway. Bolus is a better judge. He knows more. Songbird's not biased. Alright. And let's go into our cuts. There you go. And let's go ahead and draw our hands. That's just one of the... Yeah, this one goes. Uh, yep. This is a very do nothing kind of hand, so I just get the feeling like I can't keep it. I mean, it's got some spells in it, but the problem is an obvious lack of a certain card type. So I'm going to mull to six. Since you're mulling to six, I think I'm going to mulling to six. I will do the same. I'm more likely to get a poison than poison. Our little friend's sobering up on the couch nearby. Shut up. Just embarrass you in front of all of YouTube land. You may see her on camera someday. No. Oh, I'm on to six. I'm on to six. I forgot. The same thing you did. Should count one? Um, I can actually keep this. I'm very comfortable keeping this hand. I'm not, but I refuse to go to five. Alright, so scry. 
since we have less than our starting. You really have that sure. To the bottom. To the bottom. You really like that? All right. Let's get this started. Uh, travel planes into a four camp yeah. mastiff. Okay. I'm going to drop a wooded foothills and pass. All right. So he's got a hound to take down the wolves. Let's see how that goes for me. Um, it, it does not sound like a bad play. No. I did miss my land. That was unfortunate. However, I can still play Githian. Okay. And get in for one. I will go to 24. Okay, end of yours. I'm going to crack this. I'm assuming you're going down step. Yep. Go to 23. I will go and find... Tyga and put it in the fly. Ooh. OG dual lands. Alright. Oh. Draw. Ooh, that's mm. nice. Uh, I'm going to play Rootbound Crag and pay two. That's a Scorned Villager. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, again, this is not a true Tiny Leaders deck, it's just kind of my commander deck cut in half. Um, I will, again, pick up the Rada, because I don't think Rada is a bad choice for a Tiny Leader anyway. And the mana ramp would be pretty really nice. I will send a Mastiff your way. I will take the one point of damage and fall to 22. That is your turn. Still missing the land drops, eh? Missing lands. Bad beats. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Hmm... Play Grove of the Burn Willows. I think here it might be better if I just cast the Mayor of Adelbrook and Gruel Signet to get some ramp on. That'll be it for my turn. Alright. Huh. Yeah, my cards are hitting the glare from the natural light. That's an expedition envoy. Okay. Attack of the one drops, I'm telling you. Yep, yep. Text screen. Um, what? Text screen. Yeah. Offer trade. Yeah. I will not take it, but I will take the one point of damage and go to 21. Alright, here you go. Do I still smell bad? Okay, um, I'm going to take two on a stomping ground and go to 19. Then, in the end, the end, I'm going to cast the Inner Wolf. And then, I'm going to cast the Gyre Reach Bandit. Get all of my foily werewolves out there. Move over. Go to combat. I will swing in with my. 5-4 haste, and yeah, that'll be it. I will swing in a 5-4. I will throw my envoy in the way. Okay. He will eat the envoy. He will eat the envoy. And I will pass the turn to you. Light is still hitting it. Yeah, like there you go. Blocked up right there. Something about right there. Just It doesn't like it. I'm telling you, these lands are everywhere. Late Vanguard. Oh, look at that. That's almost as good as having a flank. Almost, almost as good as that's on the same tier. Uh, let's go. No, it's not. You go. My go. So you at least have cast spells. I did something that turn. Could be worse. I'm gonna play Beastmaster Ascension. It's not a bad card. Not bad. It's not bad. Mm, okay. And then I will go to combat and I will swing out. Putting four counters on the ascension. So that's five and then uh, two, so that makes seven. And then two, so that makes nine. And then three, so that makes twelve. All right. Let's see how I can assign blockers here. 
So five four two 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 three three. Nothing has menace, right? Nothing has menace. That just does it. have intimidate. All right. I will throw an elite vanguard there. Okay. And I will throw a war camp mastiff in front of mayor. Okay. So the mastiff will die and the vanguard will die. Yes. You will take three and two. So, so you'll five. take five. Go to twenty. I am at twenty. Okay. My second main phase. I will cast Wolf Bitten Captive. And pass the turn. So do I go this one? <laughs> uh, Try another one drop? Like, Something of that nature. Is it source of plowshares? Yes, it is. Source of five shares, yeah. Emerald. Okay, I will gain the two life. I will put me to 21. And that'll be good. Swing with the team, putting more counters on Beastmaster Ascension. Beastmaster Ascension is online. Beastmaster Ascension goes to eight counters, so plus five, plus five. So, and then I one one to my other werewolves here, so plus six, plus six here, so seven, seven, and ten. Sorry, uh, nine. So, seven, seven, nine. Um, and then, um, here it's just, uh, yeah, seven, 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 nine. Seven, 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 nine. So well, like that. it's probably on best interest to block the nine. Seven, seven, six, nine. Okay, there we go. I can math, I promise. All right. <laughs> So I will push Kithy under that bus right there. All right, and take seven, seven, and six. That's 20 exactly. Okay. Good game. Good game. Hand was Fel Warstone and Tari and Mahler. I had Mentor of the Meek, Hall of Triumph, Marshal Coup, Byron Bishop, Kingdom. Just could not get the land. Where could was the next the land? land? Thalia, Plains, Plains, Plains. There's my land. <laughs> there it all There's is. There's a few turns down, but... Alright, so that was our first match of Tiny Leaders on uh, camera. I had done a Tiny Leaders deck tech here before. If you guys want to go check that out, it was a deck tech on a Shu Yun list. Um, and I will deck tech this bastardized so-called Tiny Leaders deck when I get an official Tiny Leader for it. Um, but until then, I hope you all enjoyed the footage, and let me know if you want to see more. Till next time, Snow Covered Planeswalker, signing out. Peace, and take care.